I'm going to um, go to another question we've got from Tom Samuel. What, um, what is a great solution, archive footage, and other files for long-term, maybe NAS? What kind of drives are we recommending to uh, archive footage, Dan? Hmm. Define long-term. Yeah. I mean, if we're really talking years and years, uh, drives really aren't the best way to do that because um, they're sort of, sort of like car batteries. They, you know, they're designed to fail over time. They're going to fail, especially spinning media, five years max on the spinning media. Uh, SSDs have a longer shelf life, they say, uh, but it's nothing like uh, an LTO tape or something like that. Um uh, so, yeah, there's all this discussion these days about cloud storage and, and you know, do the trade-offs on the cost versus need for that instant access or the, or the, the time it takes to upload and download. Um, you know, probably LTO tapes are still the cheapest way to go as far as putting something on a very long-term media. And when I say long-term, they're, they're saying upwards of 30 years shelf life on the tape, on media tape. Um, and that's a lot of assumptions behind that, that it's sitting on a tape on a shelf someplace in a reasonable environment and not, you know, being used very much. Um, but, you know, all this stuff over time, I, if you can't afford LTO, then yeah, I would be stacking SSDs up instead of spinning drives. Uh, just my opinion. And SSDs have dropped so much in the last five years in price that they're becoming more efficient and doable. Great. I'm going to um, follow that up with Tom's other question. He says, can you use Shotput Pro to archive or is pre-roll post better? Well, there are definitely some differences between Shotput Pro and pre-roll post. Pre-roll post um, takes into the consideration the LTFS um, that you need to write to an LTO tape. So without it, you're going to have a lot of thrashing back and forth um, on, on your drive, which is really bad. Shotput cannot help you with any of that. Pre-roll is going to write to the tape in a way that is going to preserve the tape and the deck in as best um, way as possible. Um, so no, I would not recommend using Shotput Pro. The other thing is there's some illegal characters and things like that. Pre-roll post is going to take into account those illegal characters, whereas Shotput Pro will not. So um, there's definitely some advantages. Pre-roll post also has a, um, it creates a database of all the tapes that you make for retrieval. You don't get that in Shotput either. So those are just a couple of the differences. Uh, I would definitely look into the demo of pre-roll post before I tried Shotput. So um, yeah, I absolutely <laughs> don't use Shotput for LTFS though. Yeah. That's not a good idea. Not a good idea. Uh, Thank <laughs> you.